What's up guys, I'm Improv and this is my Iron Man. I have no special restrictions and just plan to play the game my own way and show that even if you don't have all day to play, you can still achieve great things. This is Casually Maxi. What's up guys, welcome back to another video. As I said before, we're going to be getting into Slayer, but honestly, first, I might try to organize my bank a little bit. I don't know, I'm feeling, I'm feeling ambitious today, you know? I did a lot of household chores. Now I'm like, you know what? I might, I might go ahead and do this. So I want to mess with it a little bit and uh, see what happens. This took so long. And honestly, it's not even like that put together yet. But this is, this is kind of what I got right now. I guess this will be a little bank update for you guys too. 554 mil uh, bank at the moment. We cleared out like 130 spaces. So we should be pretty good for now. Um, but basically, this first tab here is like teleports. It's important stuff like the Draymond Staff, my pouch. And then it also has uh, one-click teleports. It has all of the storage devices. So tackle box, fish barrel, forestry kit, that type of stuff for meat pouches. And then we have our currencies. A um, bunch of different ones here. I kind of included the Ancient Shardis currency. We have our Abyssal Head. We have our Dragon uh, Tools. Uh, we have our Bone Crusher and Ash Sanctifier here, and then our Pouches. So that's that's just the, the main tab. I then created kind of my Armor tab and my, like, Important Stuff tab. I guess it could also be kind of like a Abyss tab, right? So this is basically all the gear that I use pretty much no matter what I'm doing, whether it's Raids or Slayer or anything else. Like, it's going to be some form of this gear. Now, some of these are duplicates, so I don't know. I didn't really have a plan for that yet. But basically, this is this is the gear for the most part. And then down here is like my arrow choices and cannon. Uh, I have my one half burning claw here because once I get the other one, this is where it's going to go. Uh, some of the keys and stuff I've gotten from Slayer as well that I just haven't used. I have 40 brimstone keys right there. Uh, we were saving up to 100. Maybe I'll go back to that and try to actually save up for that again. And then food, nothing really changed here. I kind of moved my important stuff up to the top. But other than that, nothing too crazy. Then we have our potion tab. This one I changed and made it so it's just potions. It's not like the secondaries or anything. Everything in this tab is basically usable. It's drinkable. So made that a little, a little cleaner. This next tab is kind of like my skilling tab. So... This was already pretty well put together. Down here is not as much, but at the top for the most part kind of gets the kind of gets it across, right? On what it's supposed to be. I actually have other talismans, but they aren't they didn't make their way into this tab, so we'll have to change that. Next tab. Now this one is my herb lore and farming tab. I have some farming supplies, some herbs, some things like that. This I will organize a little bit more once I actually do herb lore training again. Uh, and I'll actually put like secondaries and things like that next to uh, the unfinished potions. This is this is not put together, but it's all in one place, um, except for that double uh, camo, double ammo mold. Good lord, that was that was hard. Um, I'll I'll probably just keep that in my skilling tab. Over here are my outfits. Again, I didn't really change where anything was in here. Um, the celestial ring I put in here because it's good for mining. I have my Shazian outfit. I have my graceful, I have my uh, diary outfits, and then just like party hats and things like that. Quest capes and things like that will go in here as well. So kind of a fun tab. This is my drops tab. This I did not organize yet either. Uh, maybe I'll go and do that at some point. But right now, this is basically anything in here is pretty much fair game to be alked for the most part. Um, the Serpentine Visage is a dupe. I Probably won't alk that. I'll just move that. Um, but th yeah, this is basically my alk tab, my slayer tab, uh, loot tab. About 71 mil in here, so that's pretty cool. This tab is basically just like clue stuff. So anything that I might need for a clue pretty much goes in here. And then some of the clue rewards as well, I think I'm going to put in here. And this is where I moved all of the junk, basically. This is all just like random stuff that I don't ever really touch, but... I don't know, I might need them at some point. So I kind of just moved that into this tab. Just never really going to look at it ever again, except maybe to some of this wilderness stuff. But like, I'm not really looking in this tab at all. 
so yeah that took like an hour and a half maybe a little more but it was a good time and uh it looks it looks a lot better now so i'm uh pretty satisfied with it but i mean i use a lot of these tabs on the side anyway for most of my stuff and i'll probably continue to do that so probably won't even look in these that much but it is nice to have like some sort of uh organization you know what i mean so we started off here with a dust devil task uh very good xp uh we used our goading potion of course just because it is a whole lot easier than having to run around with a dart so finish that up pretty easily focusing pretty hard on getting to 93 still because i want to do a rex or pretty bad and then we had a dagoneth task which super afk basically just sat here uh with melee prayer on and yeah, it was super, super easy, and like I said, this is just the main focus right now. What is that? Addy Kane. Interesting. A little collection log we'll take. Man, I, I'm already kind of over killing Dark Beasts. Like, maybe for just, like, getting a Dark Bow, but I don't get anything from them at all. Like, I got a rune spear, 20 death runes, and 1.2k off 14 of them. I don't know. Doesn't seem worth. Also, this task is a little weird now. I mean, not weird, but, like, now I'm picking up every single herb, like, no matter what. Like, whether it's a Guam, a Marantil, anything. I'm picking everything up for, just in case I need it for mixology. Like, I'd rather just pick up everything. Whereas before, like, there was definitely some stuff I wouldn't pick up just because... Like, there's just some herbs you don't use at higher levels, you know? And it's just not even worth it. Boom. Okay. Alright, we made our way over here to Lobstrosities. I don't know why I said it like that, but Lobstrosities over here. I ran out of seaweed spores, and honestly, I just didn't feel like sitting there waiting for them to spawn. So we're going to kill some and uh, hopefully get a decent amount. I only came here with 500 casts in my trident. So uh, we might go through all of that. We It really depends on how many seeds we get. So let's uh, try to get some. Okay, apparently I actually have 1.4k. I don't know. My tooltip was messed up. Um, but we already have 16 seaweed spores. So they're actually kind of flowing in. But I am taking a lot of damage, a lot more than I thought I would. So we'll probably stay for a while. I don't think I want to use 1,400 casts here, though. That seems kind of crazy, no? All right, that should be good. We got 52 seaweed spores. It only took like 25, 30 minutes. It was actually really, really quick. So that should last a good while. And now while I'm at work and things like that, I can actually continue doing uh, some seaweed runs huge strength level coming in 98 strength almost 99 strength almost 99 hp gaming another huge level coming in 94 range yo i'm not gonna lie something like this should be dropped from every slayer boss like yes please extend my trips it's so nice i've gotten like five in the past 20 minutes about to hit a big farm run here, get a whole bunch of Toad Flex uh, herbs, and from doing Slayer, we have like eight Snapdragons that we have to plant, so pretty good amount of restores we're going to have. Yo, I swear, whenever you need seaweed spores, they never spawn, like, or they spawn like one every like 10 minutes, but when I don't, they've been spawning so often, like, ugh. I'm at least still, I'm actually super happy I went and just grinded out some though. Like, it was so quick that I don't know why I never did it before. Happy Halloween. I like doing the events. I also like when they uh, make them pretty, pretty quick to complete. That was a good one. I like that. Ooh, an elite clue. All right, that gives me a reason to, uh, to leave here. Let's, uh, let's go get this done. All right, well, we can't finish this because we don't have a Bob shirt. I might save it because you just need to do easy clues to get a Bob shirt. So I think I'm going to save that.
Yes! We got our first Tormented Synapse. Let's go! All right, so we just got our synapse, which was pretty cool. We got on KC 484, so still under rate, but not quite a spoon, I would say. Um, since I am going to continue going with killing these, because I still want to get another claw. I'm still seeing on one claw. I'm going to make the bow, um, and if we get another synapse, I'll make the ember light. If I get another synapse before I get the claw... Honestly, even after that, I might kill these a little bit more just because Slayer XP, they're pretty good. Like, I feel like they're pretty good. Um, but in here, I actually just got a Magic Longbow U like uh, 20 or 30 kills ago. So that is nice. Let's go ahead and use that on that. You're not quite sure what to do with these. Okay, hold on. Ah, I see. Wait. I don't even have the fletching level for this. All right, guess we're going and getting our fletching level up. All right, we finally got 25k broad arrowheads, 25k headless arrows. Let's see what level this gets us to. We need to get to 73, and this is all the money I have left to my name, so I am broke. There's 70 fletching, three more levels to go. There we go. There's 73 fletching, which means we can go boost to 74 and make our bow oh my god we actually got the one boost let's go there it is the scorching bow baby we made it so we ended up getting the 73 fletching and then we just did orange spice to boost since i had some left over um, so I'm just gonna get rid of that one because I don't want to take up bank space, but we have the scorching bow now, which is pretty nice. Now, the big thing here is for us to figure out, I don't know, I don't know what, like, my max hit or anything's gonna be with the gear that I currently have. So, like, I guess what I would wear, because I'm gonna go back to demons and, uh, finish up my task and kind of test this out. Um, but, like, this would be my melee setup, right? And then we need to figure out what our range setup looks like. So we're not going to bring that because we need to bring Ava's. So let me see. Let me see what I can cook up. Okay, so this is this is interesting. So this is essentially the gear that I would be taking to um, Tormented Demons. I'd probably just use Rune Arrows because I think killing it fast is probably worth doing. Uh, the interesting thing here is it's a max hit of 35, but probably a pretty good attack bonus plus a good special attack. Whereas crystal armor with a Bofa, we're looking at one less max hit, but probably lower accuracy. So the Scorching Bow does come out on top. Um, I don't know how much better or faster it's going to be and it might even scale a little bit better as well even with uh ranged pots so we're going to go finish off this task and hopefully it uh hopefully it's it's well worth it all right let's see what our max hit potted is and when we use this it's 45 which is pretty solid because i think with my crystal armor and stuff it was like a 39 i believe so plus the spec which i think does the burning effect so a little bit more damage as well and i think that stacks right which is pretty cool and then we switch to that do that we can do piety and then we max hit 54s so yeah time to kill definitely ends up being significantly better Significantly better time to kill. It's a change of pace. I mean, I guess it's pretty cool. I don't know that it's like night and day better than the Bofa. Actually, yeah, I think it is. That was that was a really fast kill. Okay, I'm pretty hype about it. Hopefully we can get another synapse soon, get the Ember Light. 
Alright, yeah. Combining the bow with the arc light is sick. Once I get the, uh, another synapse for the ember light, I feel like it's gonna be insane for here. But also at that point, I don't think I'll need to be here anymore. Unless I don't have another claw yet, which would be sad. Alright, come on, bottomless bucket. Yes! Let's go! Let's go! Buckets for everyone, baby! Oh yeah, I'm super hype about getting the bucket. What's crazy about that is literally... Let's see. Not too long ago, somebody else in the chat got a bucket. 13 KC. And then I just got a bucket at 12 KC. So, super insane. If you guys don't know, Bottomless Bucket is super crazy because basically you put all of your ultra compost into here and each one actually counts as two so you just fill it up put 24 in and then it becomes 48 nice thing with that as well is that it only takes up one inventory spot so you don't have to worry about grabbing multiple every time you're doing a farm run grabbing like five out and it's a it's a pain um, not having it, but having it is going to be huge. You can store it as just a singular unit. It is a game changer for farming. I'm super happy I got it. Pretty, pretty spooned, I would say. I mean, 12 is, is a pretty good KC, I would say. So very happy about that. All right. This seems like a good spot to end the video, but I, we got, we got some crazy gains in this video. We had to get our fletching level up to actually get our synapse to connect, but the synapse trap was pretty huge. Got this sick looking bow, so we have the scorching bow now. Super excited to do more greater demon tasks. We got our bottomless compost bucket, which is going to be nice just for efficiency when doing farm runs and things like that, which obviously seaweed runs are a big priority for us right now because we need to get our crafting up. Getting sick of looking at the glory ammy, but... If you made it this far in the video, I appreciate you guys as usual, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.